and let's roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Let's roll out. What up, y'all? We're back. This is Food, Fitness, and Fun. And I'm here with my main man. What's B-R-E. good? Sensei Dre, Sensei of Fitness. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right. So I have been trying to do better eating at home. And uh, here is a smoothie I made recently. Dre already saw it, but I wanted to share it with y'all. Quick and easy. Very little slicing and dicing. Just a bunch of frozen stuff and some stuff I already had in the crib. Throw it in the blender. In about two minutes, I was done. And so the ingredients, I have them written down here. I squeezed an Your orange. Fist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ah, freshly I squeezed. Look through my wire. I want my little kitty show. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> squeezed. You know what I'm saying? Got a little squeezy. Ah. <laughs> the squeezy. All right. Uh, squeezed an orange, banana, green apple, pineapple chunks, strawberries, uh, a teaspoon of ground ginger, and some uh, filtered water. That's it. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Now, I probably put too much ginger for some other people's liking. I don't mind a bunch of ginger. So I put a teaspoon of ground ginger in there. A little spice in my life. And ginger also has a bunch of health benefits as well. So... That's what I also try to do. I try to be conscious when making my smoothies of the health benefits I want to get from what I'm consuming. Nice. Yeah, man. And so that's it. Quick, simple, easy. Not much to really dive into here. I like to make my smoothies with mostly fruit. This time I did almost all fruit and uh, just threw the ginger in there to kind of help offset it and the bitterness of the green apple with less sugar as well. And uh, that's it. That's my life hack, quote unquote to try to get my fruits in because you know that's where i struggle i eat lots of veggies but okay. not so good with the fruits and so that's it and now we it. move on and so uh you want to you want to switch it up and start with fun or you want to go to finish yeah we'll, we'll close fitness with and health topic. We yeah all right so i'm gonna read a little bit from an article we both already read uh it's about we that go good old we go v. You know what I'm saying? We go v. And I'm gonna put a picture up if I can remember when I edit. So hopefully. Uh but there's a big ass ad. I already sent it to Dre that's just chilling in the 34th Street train station. And guess what it's for? That's right, you guessed it. We go v. And it says we go v to lose weight. With coaching, care, and healthy lifestyle changes to make it last. (laughs) Ah, Don't forget to change your lifestyle with our miracle medication. So, this is a Wall Street Journal article, and the headline reads, The $76 billion diet industry asks, what to do about Ozempic? And if you didn't see our pod where we dove into... We go v Ozempic is really what we go v is. We go v is the remix. Ozempic is the original gangster. All right. And so I'm going to jump around, but I wanted to speak about some of the things that are happening since our last pod, or maybe they've been happening in the scenes behind the scenes, but we didn't know. And so these are some of the things that are going on. Again, we both already read the article, but just to give y'all some context. And so This is uh, some information that's been happening here. And this is a Wall Street Journal article. This says, uh, so they speak about someone, they speak about a woman. And then it says that she is among the diet business's most reliable customers. And they are sparking an existential crisis for the industry which rang up $76 billion in sales from tw- in 2022 from weight loss and medical programs, diet soda, low-carb frozen food, gym memberships, and other categories, according to research firm Market Data LLC. And so what are they talking about? The drugs that we already spoke about, which are Ozempic, Wegovi, Munjaro, which I didn't know about. Mm-hmm. Uh, you heard about Munjaro? Okay. Yep. Munjaro. And it says these drugs have upended the business of losing weight in America. They are shaping up to be blockbusters for 
Novo Nordisk, which makes Ozempic and Wegovine, and Eli Lilly, which makes Munjaro. The drugs are also ripping up long-held beliefs that diet, exercise, and willpower are the way to weight loss. Okay, so all the shit that we already spoke about, there goes the context. And now, let's jump into the shit that I find interesting, and then Drake can chime in as well, because maybe, <clears throat> maybe there was something else that you found interesting. And so one of the things that stood out to me is this right here. It says, some big players, including Weight Watchers, are embracing the drugs, sometimes referred to as GLP-1s, and betting on them as a critical part of the industry's future. I'm going to stop there and jump to where they speak about that. So it says, Weight Watchers has spent the last 60 years telling members they can lose weight by tracking the food they eat doing frequent weight check-ins and making other lifestyle changes. But fewer people are banking on that promise. The company's membership declined from 3.5 million at the end of 2022 to 3.5 million at the end of 2022 from 4.2 million just a year earlier and down from its record high 5.03 million subscribers at the end of the first quarter of 2020. And now Weight Watchers sees these drugs as an opportunity. That's right. An opportunity and so weight watchers is co-signing this shit, and that's what i find interesting and it says weight watchers also plans to create programs geared to members who are using glp1 medications since the weight loss <clears throat> quickly they often lose since when people lose weight quickly they often lose important muscle mass they're coming up with all this different shit, and they're saying that they're going to start incorporating the drugs into their Weight Watchers program. Also, Noom Inc., which has been very popular and new, is saying something similar. And so Noom is all about diet and color coding foods. And it says here, Noom Inc., which has an online diet program that color codes foods based on calories, quietly launched a new program offering GLP-1s to clients last fall, hiring its first medical director to manage the service in December, okay? Noom's main weight loss program can cost about $70 to $209 a month, depending on the plan. Novo Holdings, the controlling shareholder in Ozempic and Wegovy, is also an investor in Noom. Surprise, surprise. Follow the money. And you never know what else you'll find. That's from The Wire. Now, it says, uh, so this is, a, this is they spoke to Linda Anagua, Noom's new medical director. And she says the program is in pilot mode. Mm -hmm, sure. She says, we feel treating weight loss from a medical standpoint is a natural complement to Noom's behavioral change tool that has been in development for over a decade. Okay, and so we see all of these different companies are beginning to adapt to these drugs and bring in these drugs, including a company called Metafast. Yeah, I, heard, I heard of them too. All right, and so where is it at? Alter medication. Tavia, hold on. The early side effects. Okay, so this is from Dan Chard, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Metafast, whose company Optavia has a program that generated 1.6 billion in revenue in 2022. Chard notes that the, that a medication's long-term side effects may take f years to fully emerge. He also says that drugs off-label prescribing is a concern, but. That ain't changing shit because Metafast products like shakes and all this other stuff are available. And they're saying they feel confident with their new approach of introducing the drug into their situation. And, but wait, there's more. You never guess who else is thinking about it. Oh, actually, Herbalife people say no, no bueno. Dr. Brian. Oh, I misspeak. I'm sorry. Yes, Dr. Bradley, which is Kent Bradley, the company's chairman in chief and nutrition officer of Herbalife. Oh, yes. Everybody knows Herbalife. 
is also beginning to incorporate programs with GLP-1s. Okay, and so all of these big quote unquote companies that are tied to better health allegedly are now introducing the drugs. And so there's a company called Simply Good Foods, uh, Simply Good Foods Co. It's a Atkins brand allegedly, and they are now selling also GLP one. Oh, they feel that their program, it says, I'll just read it. It says, uh, Simply Good Foods Co.'s Atkins brand which sells products based on its protein-rich, low-carbohydrate diet, says this program might be a, quote, good partner for the drugs, according to Colette Heimowitz, the company's vice president. And so everybody's trying to get in on it. That's, that's the long story short here. I don't need to keep reading. But that's the long story short. Everyone is trying to get in. Oh, I don't need these either. Everyone's trying to get in on the game. And so GLP-1s is the nickname that they've created in the industry for these quote unquote weight loss drugs. And oh, 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 Ozempic <laughs> is fucking up the industry right now. And so we got to talk about it again because we spoke about it already. But now we have new information that says all of these big dogs, quote unquote, are investing in the program and some are owned by co owners of the programs, of the drugs. And so, like I said, uh, Ozempic is already an investor in Noom. And so, or whatever company it was, one of the companies is already an investor in Noom. And so what happens is you rig the game, right? By saying, hey, I create whatever product, I'm going to invest in a company that is in the same field I'm trying to get into. And so the game is rigged because now your investors are saying, hey, hey, excuse me, let me knock on your door. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Remember me, the investor? I need you to start pushing this new thing. Thanks. Because I pay the bills here. Yeah, make it happen. Thanks. And so I think it's really interesting. Uh, you can go drink right. and then I'll, I'll well, go. Well, first of all, um, I know you're probably better at this than me, but do you remember the episode where we did a really good deep dive into this? Um, what episode was that, sir? Yes. Yeah, do you know offhand? The number? I thought maybe our uh Yes. Just to I just to let you right know here. our followers know Please where hold. they could get that first um I, that first deep dive because we did couple Well, if you just scroll on this channel, it okay. is already a separate video that says we uh it you it says we go V, but I'll okay. tell you both of them right now. And so if I go to videos here. So two weeks ago I put up a video and it's called we vote yeah. no we go we go v that's the entire okay. we go v conversation and that comes from episode 56 which is called yeah all of the emis <laughs> and so if you're not on our youtube channel but you are listening to our podcasts on one of the many podcast platforms you want to go to the episode that's titled all of the emis and all of the emis i'll double check on the podcast platform yeah, myself so i'm not misspeaking but all of the Enies should be the episode where you can go and listen no to the full conversation. And uh, I'm okay. going to just double check. Yeah, that so right I just now. wanted to, uh, you know, get our listeners to, if they want the background, um, because we did a good conversation on that, mm -hmm. on Ozempic and what they're doing. Uh, yeah, check that, check out that, that last, um, uh, as Jay is saying, probably episode 56, all the Enies. We do a really good deep dive on this whole Ozempic thing. If you haven't heard of it, you kind of want the background. Um, but uh, you know, it it it's one of these things where it's like it's messed up, but it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if cats got let's just just round things up. If you got fourteen hundred dollars a month to spend on this drug. You probably got yep. a few more dollars, right? And if you got a few more dollars, well, I I would like I would like to take those. And so to have these companies saying, let's identify who these customers are, or basically patients, who these patients are, target them and offer them other services. Yeah, of course it makes it makes 
a, a whole bunch of sense, right? Because you already identified that these people have this money. You know, they, they're willing to spend a high amount right. of cash every month for weight loss. So let's see if we can squeeze a little bit more out of them. So I'm, I'm, I'm not really surprised to right. see people linking up with the Ozempic or slash Wegovi um, data and making products and services based on that data that is constantly increasing. And it's constantly increasing, as we already said, because right. people want that that easy way out, right? You know, it's like they're saying, well, you know, mm -hmm. you're fat and it's not your fault. So therefore you right. need uh, a medical intervention. And if you are ready to believe that you need the medical intervention, here are these other services to help you too. And I respect it because it's yep. capitalism 101. I hate it as a personal trainer because I know what mindset is happening there, right? Because you're, you're basically making the person feel like there's nothing that they can do. You know, you're just naturally this way and it's nothing that you can do. And um, you need all these other right. sort of wraparound services just to have some sort of impact mm -hmm. um, on fat, you know. And and that's really the sad part about it because it's another G, you know what I'm saying? It's just another <laughs> game of to get people um, to not really fully understand, you know, what's going on with their bodies or even how fat loss like actually works. And when you say, like you said initially, it's like, oh yeah, this works, but you know, it works with a great diet and, and, and exercise. And it's like, but then, well then maybe that's the key. Maybe it's the diet and the fucking exercise and not so right. much these goddamn drugs. Right. You know? Um, right. And yeah. And, and when you, when you sent me that, that ad on uh, in the middle of Manhattan, 34th street. Yeah. It's like, they see the data, you know, they want to make sure they tell people, Hey, this is not your fault. You are fat because right. of every other reason, but your own. And you know, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, I know there's a ton of factors that go into um, being either obese or grossly obese or whatever. But um, if you, uh -huh. if we know that diet and exercise is the main thing, then I will constantly, constantly say, then that's the thing you really need to focus on and not so much, you know, these drugs. And as we kind of talked about it in our, in our other episode, the real sad part about it is, is there's people with type two diabetes who can't get this drug now because it's in so much high demand, you know, who really need it so that yep. they can live, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, um, yep. Other people are just take, you know, taking it off the market um, in this frenzy because cats are worried about how you know this they, what they believe to be this like easy one pill one step and all the way to just magically goes away. Okay, so yeah, those were great points, and I totally agree. Um, I also have a few other things that I'd like to hit, kind of in conjunction with what you said, and so. I feel like I got a little sneezy sneeze coming. Let me see. All right, maybe not. So, yeah, the ad is clearly because they know that New York City has lots of overweight people, lots of people who are on the subway, passing through that subway system, and it was in a main hub, which is 34th Street, Penn Station. And so, yeah, they know even if it is just that one ad right by the train style, when you're turnstile, you're walking in and out that turnstile, you're going to see it, which exactly how I saw it, because I swiped by Metro, made a right to go to the express train station and uh, express platform. And oh, shit, look at that. That says we go. OK. And so great spot for the ad. Great marketing, obviously. And you can see in the ad, I'm going to try my best to put it on the screen. The big part says we go. The smaller part says lifestyle changes and all that other shit. It's kind of like when you see the uh the asterisk at the bottom of a commercial right it's, it's usually smaller font for a reason and they want you to go read that fine print allegedly if you don't it's really on you you're responsible which leads me to my next thing yeah you're right it's about accountability the lack of accountability if we tell you hey you know it's hard for you to lose weight because 
It's not your fault. It's really, really nothing you could do about it. Yeah, it makes you feel as a person like, oh, see, I knew I was fat and it wasn't my fault. It's not because I'd be eating McDonald's for breakfast every day. Nah, can't be that Big Mac at lunchtime. No way. Can't be that I eat the large tub of popcorn by myself every Friday at the theater. No, it's something wrong with me. And so they're co-signing that and feeding on people's needs, right? And so, yeah, capitalism. Now, as a person who is in business, it's smart marketing. Tying uh, the Weight Watchers and all these other companies, they're thinking about their bottom line. And that's where shit gets tricky. Because in this country, very often, the consumer, the sick person is not considered. What's considered is the pharmaceuticals bottom line, the doctor's bottom line, the conglomerate's bottom line. And by bottom line, for those who don't understand what I'm saying is their, their net profit and their gross profit at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year. They're thinking about dollar dollar bill, y'all. They're not thinking about JD or Dre or even you. They're thinking about the shmoney, the bag, as the internet likes to say. And so they don't give a fuck if you're fat or skinny, healthy or unhealthy, dying or taking your last breath. They only give a fuck about the coins, the dollars. And so if, yeah, if we can invest in companies that are going to push our product, of course, that's a smart move because now you don't have to worry about marketing because the company that you are an owner of is going to market it for you. It's going to push it for you. They're going to say, hey, we see you're in our level one program that's only focused on cardio. And that's great. But if you take this drug, it'll give you the extra boost that you're looking for. It'll make life just a little easier. It makes me think about Staples. Staples had these awesome, funny commercials years ago with a big ass red button that said easy. They would say, oh, you got tens of things to do today and you got a lot of shit to do today. That's okay. Hit the easy button. And that's the thing. They all know we're looking for the easy button because in this country, we've said here before, we're looking for the easy button all the time. We're looking for, nah, I don't really want to work hard to get the position I want. Easy button. Nah, I don't want to work hard to lose the weight. And he's, I don't really like the way my chesticles look in this shirt. I wish there was a what? An easy button. Oh, okay, you know, yeah, I wish I had double D's and I really, I got a cool butt, but I wish my butt was bigger. You know, I don't want to do squats and do things. No, you know what I want to do? Easy button. I'm going to DR to get surgery. Fuck it. That's what we're looking for in this country. And so this large conglomerate has figured it out. And they say, hey, we have data, which we showed in the video last time we spoke about this a couple episodes ago. There's a video and the doctor is saying, yeah, here at Ozempic, we're seeing that there are people on the drug that are losing weight. And so we want to help other people lose weight. No, 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 no. You want to make millions and millions of dollars. And that's why it's getting harder for the people who need these drugs to, to do the thing they were designed for to obtain them. Because people are saying, oh, wait, what? It helps you do what? You mean I can lose, th I can lose 30 pounds by just taking this drug? Yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm cool with that. Yeah, no, here's all my money. Here's all my money. And so you're right. And so what it is, is a lack of accountability and people being okay with risking because we don't know the long-term effects of this yet. It's a very new drug. Even Ozempic, Ozempic hasn't been around that long. Right. And so we don't know the long-lasting effects, the long-term effects. And so people are risking it without knowing what the long-term effects are for a big C word, a big C word called convenience and People want convenience. Back to the easy button. If I can mosh the button, <laughs> then I can get the results I want. But the problem is they don't give a fuck about you. Michael Jackson told us a long time ago, they don't really care about us. And so that's what it is. They care about their bottom line. They care right. about their profits. They care about their brand. And they care about what it is they're trying to do, which is make more money, more money, more money, more money. Right, right. And yeah. so 
we know, which we said last episode, and you reminded us just now, Dre, that it's not just a miracle drug. You still have to do other things, just like flying to a foreign country to get cut up and get new breast and bud and ab implants, because I'm picking on the fellas too, you feel me? Fellas is out here getting fake six packs and penis extensions. All of that stuff is the easy button. Not trying to do any work, trying to just get this miracle thing. But just like we said, that miracle thing is not really a miracle. You still got to come back, heal up from surgery, and guess what? Go do exercise. Not eat the fatty stuff. Not eat the sugary stuff. Which is why even Ozempic's ad says with lifestyle changes. Because you can't lose 30 pounds if you're eating garbage all the time. And if you're drinking tons and tons of calories all the time. And so really, it's a farce. It's not real. It's what a, a guy who used to be our president would say is fake news. Yeah. And so because of that, people are getting whammied, as they say on the TV show, The Flash. Me and my daughter watch a lot and they say, man, what happened to Dre? He's bugging out. I say, they whammied him. He's bugging out. And so y'all are bugging out taking this drug because you've been fooled. You've been whammy. You've been hit with some shit that sounds real good. And now you're like, man, if I can just take this drug, I'll be looking good. Yeah, but you still got to eat good and work out. It's not the drug. It's the eating good and the working out. So I agree with you, Dre. And I wish that more people were just dedicated to loving themselves and trying to truly help themselves because there's nothing wrong with seeking outside help, but drugs are usually not outside help. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, that's that's my take on it. Yeah, you're right, yep. Everybody wants the the, the magic pill, the one pill, the, 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 the silver bullet, you know what I'm saying? If you do this one thing and right. then that's it because everything is packaged to, you know, this whole life that we live modern lifestyles everything is about convenient you know that's how I to do it, this yeah. faster better whatever whatever okay but you know this sense of a magic bullet you know this magic drug this magic pill just take this one pill and your whole life is going to be great that's what they're selling they're they're selling you know as you're saying like they're selling this this dream you know this it, is it's not a it's it's not real and unfortunately i do See, here's the thing. I do understand that there are tons of people out there who are really struggling to lose weight. You know what I mean? Of course, and, myself and included. I'm, yeah, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not, I'm not a pencil with 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 a, a rock hard chest and and an eight pack going down to his schlong. I know. I me too. <laughs> yeah, you know, and 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 um, I mean, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I I, I completely, you know, sympathize with those people. Um, who feel that way, you know, and I'm not saying, you know, you know, uh, you're lazy and, and, you know, the whole thing is like, yes, accountability, right? Like you have to take that first step, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, to think that, well, this is a medical issue and therefore it's going to be treated and, and I can finally get the results I want. Yeah, you're, you're kind of fooling yourself. You know, people, like you said, they take extreme um, measures. Risks. Yeah, extreme measures, you know, flying out, doing surgeries, doing all this, instead of doing, you know what, honestly, the boring thing. It was boring to, to, to be on a diet every day. You know, it's boring to uh, take a walk um, for an hour every day. These these are boring things because it's, how do you sell that? It's It's boring to say, how about let's try some intermittent fasting? Let's let's eat less, you know. Let's 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 try one meal a day. I wonder how how that will impact you. You know what I'm saying? Jog Whatever. on the treadmill. Just just jog in place for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Just go for a walk. It's boring, you know. Right. Those those are the boring things. But guess what? Those are the things that work. It's everyday consistency. It's always about. That's what people need to ask themselves. What am I doing every single day? In fact every single moment to um, help my weight loss journey, right? Right. Before you rip into that bag of, you know, potato chips, before you order the ultimate pizza, 
you know, oh, it's Friday, you know, drinks, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, is that adding to your weight loss journey? Actually, it is because it's adding to it in a negative way. You see what I'm saying? So everything you do affects your journey. And thinking that, okay, well, those things don't matter. And all I need is a magic drug. That's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. And they know that, well, if you have the income, you're going to spend even more you know, on this, on this BS and people like you and me who are just saying like fundamental things like, well, let's, let's try eating less. Let's try moving more. Let's look into our refrigerators and our cupboards and pull out all the things that we know are not healthy for us. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the actual real hard work. Of course. Yeah. Of course, because all the sugary, fatty, salty stuff is everywhere. Right. And it's and it's bright and colorful. It's not in black. When you walk down the supermarket aisle, it's not like all the chips are just dark black with no ads, you know, no colorful stuff. No, they're pink and purple and yellow and red and all the colors that jump out at you. And you're walking down the aisle trying to mind your business with your shopping cart, and that's just some bright, shiny shit in the corner of your eye. You look over. Oh man, that's Lays. Oh, hi, Lays. Exactly. Come on. It's colorful and bright for a reason. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I I mean, we covered it before. I just thought it was interesting and worth bringing up because the Wall Street Journal is speaking about it <laughs> because it's about dollars. It's about investments and it's about companies. And I said, holy shit, we were just talking about this a couple pods ago and look at now we have numbers and dollar signs and conglomerates and names all being tied together i said i feel like we just we got to do a follow-up like how could we not i felt like we just you know we just had to bring it to the pod so yeah it's unfortunate that people want to choose convenience over consistency and it's hard to be consistent i say that all the time i struggle with that c word I do. I struggle with consistency and and I I too feel for people. And that's why we do this pod, right? Why do we do this pod? Because we supporters of the easy button? No, because we know it's difficult. We know it's challenging for us as well. We, We say all the time here, we like sugary shit. We like fatty shit. We like salty shit. We're human too. We're not perfectly put together robots. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're humans too. And so we're here to try to help others give information and educate. That's really what we're trying to do. And so, yeah, it's just unfortunate. And uh, they're going to continue to use their dollars to try to take your dollars. And they, you know, like you said, they know, oh, if you got the 1300, you gonna give it up. Yeah, so, if you got if you got the 13, you ain't gonna mind spending the 15. Or you got the 15, right, you ain't gonna mind around that off to, a, to two G's. You know, right, so let me, let me, <laughs> right, what's let two me, G's for your perfect body? Right, right. You know, you want this month. perfect body. And then, and like you said, this is in New York city, right? This is a, this is a place where, you know, rents are constantly increasing. So they know, well, the people who live in this city are high income earners. So let's Allegedly. put up a huge, uh, we go over yet. Yeah. They ain't looking, they ain't talking right. about, you know, poor cats like, yourself no. myself you know what i mean that's, that's i be nothing. i being poor only have my dreams right I, that's that's all you're gonna get you know what i mean but there's millions of high income earners in new york city and those are the cats they're yeah. going after period right yeah. exactly all right so now let's move on i got a little something something i'm gonna use dre's favorite feature here that's and, my feature uh, <laughs> i know stealing, stealing your sauce you know <laughs> Copycat. You're copying me. I'm such a copycat. (laughs) (laughs) Right, here we go. Yeah. And so there's a TikTok trend I want to talk about. Uh, Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. And so this lady is the number one person. uh, Okay. So let me me give some context before I press play. All so right. I read an article and I, sh- I sent it to you as well, but for the, for the viewers, the watchers, um, I read an article from the New York post and the New York post was talking about hashtag water talk. 
and there's a movement, a whole bunch of hashtags, and these people are posting about quote unquote healthy water. People who have struggled with drinking water their whole life, including Tanya here, who we're about to about to watch a video from, have struggled with drinking water. Even Tanya here had surgery, um, according to the article from New York Post. If you just look up New York Post water talk, it pops right up. And so the New York Post wrote this article. It's about people who are trying to drink more water and quote unquote healthier water. And so they're drinking all of these different sweet concoctions that are low calorie and tasty. And I said, oh man, this is right up our alley. I got to bring this to the pod. And so we're about to watch Tanya's recipe for salted caramel apple water. This is just one of many things that are on her TikTok. And I'm not picking on her. The article mostly featured her. It says that she is the number one person when you look up the hashtag water talk. And so here we go. Can you Good morning. All right. I don't even know where we are. The 7-Eleven somewhere. I got a little bottle of water. You guys know we're still doing the water of the day. I'm not even going to Vegas and get on a plane, but we're doing the water of the day. You guessed it. Salted caramel apple is the water of the day. So this is the salted caramel skinny mixes flavor burst to go. We're going to pop that in there just like that. I'm going to taste a drop because these are super concentrated. And then we're going to do the green apple Jolly Rancher packet. Probably my favorite packet besides the pink starburst. And we're just going to shake it up. Hope you guys are having a good day. The next time you see me, I will be in Vegas. Thank you, Tanya. How pretty. Shake it. Shake it like a milkshake. And do that back. You can. Super casual. Super comfy. Oh, my gosh. Loving every minute of it. Good morning. All right. I don't even know where we are. Tanya. Now, if we go over here and hit Water Talk, yeah, it says here. Look at this Water Trending. Talk hashtag Water Talk has one hundred thirty six point seven million views. Great. That's how many people have watched content related to Water Talk. Holy shit! Look at this. When Water Talk is, let's watch one more. Why not? This is something okay. different. The dominoes cascaded in a line. What if I told you I'm a mastermind? This person just oh, got tons yeah. and tons of mixes. The dominoes cascaded. Stupid. Yeah. Tons and tons of mixes. All right, and yeah. we're back. Yeah. And so Dre, I gotta, I gotta talk to you about water talk now, baby, because water yeah. talk. <laughs> I mean, we've been here before. I know we just yeah. spoke about this, but yeah. I said, oh man, I got to bring this to Dre because yes, we did speak about this. And during our last episode, Great Debaters, I said, yeah, people like me and you, we may not be ODing on this, but there's plenty of people who are. And unbeknownst to me at the time, Water Talk was taking over the world. <laughs> right, right. And here are people pouring multiple packets in one water. Right. Jolly Rancher packets, Playboy. Jolly right. Rancher. And so Tanya, the number one water talk person, and I again, I'm not, I got no beef with Tanya because I know how the internet does. I'm just reacting to her video because we just spoke about this. And again, the New York Post article, if you look it up, New York Post water talk, that's who it features. And that's how I found out about Tanya. Never knew about her prior. This is not a prior beef. In fact, I don't even have a beef. I think it's great because in the article it says Tanya is someone who always struggled with drinking water. She had gastric sleeve surgery because she was over 400 pounds. She's been losing the weight, but the doctors say she needs to be drinking at least 64 ounces of water. And now with flavored waters, she is up to 90 ounces a day. And so <laughs> kudos to her for drinking more water. However, Said, what the fuck is that? Multiple packs. She even said, she squeezed it and said, just one drop because this thing is so concentrated. Yep. It's so concentrated that you added a whole pack of Jolly Ranchers to it. Come on, Dre. People are ODing. Yeah. I think I think the best thing about um this that whole thing that you uh discovered is now at least we know what hashtag to use 
when. <laughs> no, honestly. That's the that's the most important thing to me. That's the only thing I really learned. <laughs> the only thing I learned is that, son, now we have a hashtag that we should have been using. Because we was talking now we about this. Hashtag water forget time. about last time. We was talk we was talking about this way back when I was like, yo, my fucking food for the day, and I pulled out that big gallon of water and it would have a little bit of orange stuff in there. We was, me, we was talking let me about just it co-sign then. that by drinking some big ass. Come water. on, let's do it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? And we also had this topic for for those of you who want to go back. We spoke about how important it is to drink water, and uh, yep. a very very early version of food, fitness, and fun. So I, right. I advise you to take a look at that. But in that video that we came up with, you know, once again, I wish I we knew how to hashtag. I would have hashtag it a year ago, wherever it was. Um, we might have started it if we knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we had already said how important water is. And, you know, if you need a little bit of sweetness to go with it, throw a little sweet. We did this whole thing on there. Throw a little bit of that little sweet. Just a little bit of the little sweet and you're good. You know what I'm saying? But here's the biggest problem. Talk to him. The biggest problem is if you can't drink something as natural to your body as water, you have a bigger problem. You have a bigger sugar addiction that you're not really addressing. And rather than putting more and more of these different flavors in there to feed your sugar addiction, you should be doing what we said in our last episode, 57, try to do a little bit less of those so you can get off of the sugar addiction. Drinking water just the way it is, the way your God intended, whatever you believe, is the way human beings are supposed to drink water and everything else is just a, an additional kick but if you say to yourself and i know tens of people millions of people have said this and we said this in our podcast before there are lots and lots of people out there who's like ill i don't like water well why is right. that why don't you like water You've you've dis- used to drinking tons and tons of sugary shit. Right, you've destroyed your taste buds with refined sugars. You don't. You, if you don't like water, you probably don't like apples or oranges, just regular normal fruit, because things you have a hyper palate, hyper sugary palate, and that's what yeah. needs to be satisfied. And there, and here's the artificial sweeteners or whatever to help to help keep that palate high if you don't like water look at yourself and say i have a problem water is the most natural thing you know i think you broke it down in a video where you're talking about water is like 70 percent of our body or something like that yes yeah. it's, it's it's what you are it's no different than saying ill air i don't like air you know i need to have some Nasty. sort of you know additive to my air to make it Tastes good, you know. What I, I mean? always, like, I always put Skittles on my air. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Like, yo, you have a big problem, and you need to help yourself out of that. You need to understand. I'm addicted to sugar so much that I have to add these things to something as basic as water, and try yep. to, for God's sake, put less and less of that stuff into your water, so that you can kick the addiction. It's no different than any other addiction, right? You don't say, oh, I'm addicted to alcohol, and so, you know, I just have different types of alcohol every day. No, you'd be like, hey, yo, bro, you got a problem. You need to try to drink less alcohol every day, you know? Right. Not add alcohol to your water, you know? Like, what the fuck? You know? Like, no. I always put a little bit of Jack Daniels in my In mine, right. Just, you know, hey, now it's tastier. No, no. Now it tastes better. I like like to put a little bit of Jameson in my water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy. That's crazy, and 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 that's like me to feel like sad. I'm drinking an old fashioned every time. Right, I every water. time I you know I want to you know <laughs> little, little, little tequila kick a lot of little tequila like, kick. Oh, in my gotta water. put the, the fly part about when you put the tequila in your water is you, no one even knows because it's clear just like the water. Right, right. Or a vodka water, a vodka flavored water, please. Come like on, what? You know what I'm yeah, come on. So stop. You know, it's just like I, 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 I think it's sad, and I think she represents millions of Americans 
uh, who are super addicted to refined sugars and don't see that as an addiction, you know? Right. And oh, good. I, I don't want to. No, no, no. You you could take it after this. So so all I'm saying is you are highly addicted to refined sugars. You don't see it as addiction, and you're not doing the work because you don't realize it's a it's an addiction to get off of that. Um, you know, that drug, refined sugar is another drug. Sorry. Yeah. And so the New York Post said that a lot of these hashtag water talk posts are using the packets and showing, hey, look, this packet has no sugar. It's got a sugar alternative. Mm -hmm. And so they're saying it's healthy water. But we already told y'all about the damage that's being done with these other water, uh, excuse me, with these alternative sweeteners. And so now not only are you consuming them, and this is what I was trying to debate last pod when I was debating is that again, yeah, Dre, you might just put a, a little bit of alternative sweetener in your gallon and that's it for the day. Yep. But here we have people posting up videos of what they're doing every time they drink water and she said she drinks 90 get 90 i was gonna say 90 gallons that's crazy Ounces. she'd have to be a whale to drink 90 <laughs> gallons that's a joke yeah, um, yeah. she she's drinks 90 ounces yeah she's you know what i'm saying she uh <laughs> she drinks 90 ounces of water that bottle we saw was not 90 ounces right right so, so she's, she's gonna do that at least two more times yeah a few times throughout the day yeah come mm -hmm. on player yeah. how many yeah. alternative sweeteners are we consuming in a day and so yeah you're saying refined sugar and you're right but it's not just about the sugar because we're seeing that a lot of these videos that's what the new york post said and so yeah. i didn't watch a bunch of tiktok videos but if y'all go look that's what the new york post is reporting and that's what we're talking about here and the new york post is saying that a lot of these videos are saying that they're having low calorie no sugar sweeteners and that's what and that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it is. i mean this is why when we had our last uh pod you know it was a debate because you're like hey dre you like these and i'm like yeah i do i do like them um and i already described if you watch that why i like them but let's get one thing straight and i said it in the last pod you sure alternative did. sweeteners are not healthy it's not a healthy thing that you're doing. And you say, okay, well, I'm, we're having healthy water. Healthy water saying. is clean water. That's healthy water. That's it. <laughs> clean drinking water is healthy water. The, everything That's else, it. once you start altering it, you're not making it more healthy. It's already healthy. Now, if you need to alter it because you don't like the taste of water, then let's recognize why we're altering it. I'm altering it because I want a sweet kick to it. Now I'm making it not as healthy. It's still good, still better than drinking a, a Coke or something with you know um, refined sugar or, or high fructose corn right. syrup or whatever. Yeah, it's still good, you right. know, but it's not necessarily healthier than water because you added all these things into it, no. You're making it to a point so you can drink more water because you have a problem with drinking water. And so that, here's this thing. And like I said, I drink them all the time. You know, I already described how I do it, but it's not healthier. It's just to get you some, because we are all addicted to sugar, myself included. So now we have to have a little bit of a sweet kick in there to help us drink more water. Um, but it's still an addiction. So try to use as little as possible, you know? I, I mean, I already said, I, it's the same way I see about drinking, right? Oh, no, like, yeah, of course, of course. It's like, if I, if I go out drinking, it's not to destroy my liver and destroy my, myself, right? It's like, what's the little amount that I can have to get the effect that I want? It's like, yo, I just want right. to be a little breezy, you know, I just want to get like, hey, a little tipsy, not, nothing crazy. Well, that might just be a couple of light beers and maybe a small vodka shot. And that's it. I don't need to have 18 shots, right? You, you, you're you doing too much. So you always want the least amount to get the most effect, no matter what you're talking about. And this is just another example. And that's why I said, oh, man, I got to bring this to the pod <laughs> because that was my whole argument that this is what people are doing because I yeah. know it. 
Yeah. I know people are pouring tons and tons of this shit in their water and calling it healthy water is an oxymoron. It's yes, not healthy sir. water. You know what's healthy water? Water. That's what's healthy water. It's crazy. I know. Maybe you've never heard of this thing, but there's this thing called water. That's the healthiest version of water. You know, it's just, yeah. it's crazy. I know when you add water to water, you get like yeah. a water kick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you have some water, just Jim Gaffigan, you know? Just, yeah, yeah, that's my It tastes dude. more watery yeah. than water. Right. Water kicks. Water yeah. has a water kick to it. It reminds me of. And so of, that's the problem. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to say, it reminds me of like, uh, this used to happen too. It used to be this dude with these videos and he would put down fruit, right? And he'd be like, yeah. You know, fruit has too much sugar in it, so don't eat too much fruit because fruit has just as much sugar as uh, a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> and you're like, all right, okay, okay, all right. And this, honestly, this is when we, <laughs> when we talk about about our podcast and why it was created. It's because there's so much BS and garbage information out there. You need somebody oh, to, to say, hey, hold on. What the hell are you talking about? And so this dude, <laughs> and this is before our show, because I definitely would have shown yeah, the yeah, video. This is, yeah, yeah. But he would be like, okay, you know, it has the same amount of sugar. And he'd be like, and you would say, to, and I would say to myself, like, wait a minute, but here's the difference. A Reese's peanut butter cup, if you turn it around and you look at the ingredients, it's about 30 ingredients of all this crap that's in it. Right. Okay. An apple has apple in it. <laughs> right. I mean, what's, it's, in, what's in hey what's in your apple right apple. And so just, right and just so, apple right so one has all this like crap and refined sugars and everything else in there dyes and everything else where apple has uh dietary fiber and yes it's sweet a little but because it's mixed with all this dietary fiber you're not eating a bag of apples I'm sorry. You have two. You probably be like, okay, I'm good. We've had this right. conversation before. People go back to our other pods. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Absolutely. you're not drinking gallons and gallons of just regular water. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can see you ODing on that sugary water because you're drinking sugar water. Of course. Right. Sugar water. Yeah, it's, it's the sugar part that you want. So Stop hating on healthy <laughs> water, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? It's cats are wild. Cats are wild. So, so this is our fun topic because this shit yeah. is funny to me. Like, yeah, no yo, doubt. water talk, we about to be all over water talk. I'm so. about to hashtag the shit out of that water talk. You, that's the only <laughs> thing you fuck. That's the only thing I learned. That's the only thing I learned. Dre, yo. this is the hashtag you need to use. Thank you. Because I will be that's adding it. to this uh, phenomenon in a that's way it, that baby. pretty pretty much unexpected. TikTok, we coming. You know what I'm saying? We coming. TikTok, we be we'll be right with you. TikTok. In a minute, we won't claim no sex. <laughs> Only way to catch me. Is you gotta internet. hit us on this internet. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> Shout out to Nori. On Word. that note, we are out of here. See y'all in two weeks.